morning if you're watching this in the morning um, as you can see at the beginning of the vlog um, I was logging the California mountains and I was going to um, Juan's dentist appointment my son and um, so I wanted to vlog a little bit of the mountains hopefully you guys enjoy that um, beautiful California mountains are very lovely I love it when they're all green that's my best part when it's all green but anyways I didn't vlog um, in the car in the morning because Juan and uh, he's he doesn't like it he thinks it's so weird and why do you do this and how come you're doing it and I'm like well I don't know I just I just think everybody should vlog their life and and share it to the world because we might have something in common or we might learn from ourselves or from somebody else you know so that's why I do it I guess and I like to have more friends um, maybe this is my way of therapy you could say this could be therapy for some people but anyways I'm heading to my doctor's appointment and um, and what else? After that, I have to pick up my medication for my um, allergies, and they're acting up. And just to let you know, the lipstick I'm wearing is my MAC, uh, the Violet Teddy, it's called. I love this color. It's so beautiful. Um, it, it's very nice. Um, I'm looking for a neutral color. If you guys know any neutral color, like my lip color or something, um, let me know because I would like to wear it um, to work or just just to look good I guess um, when I go somewhere and um, what else and that's about it um, that's all I'm doing what else that's all I'm doing today I decided to put a little bit of eyeshadow on myself um, I have the 25a um, Morphe palette and it's it's a real nice one. I really like the Morphe palette. I haven't used it as much as I should. And I don't know. Um, I'm thinking of buying a different one. Maybe another Morphe palette. Or I don't know. Something different. Um, I like neutral colors. It's very beautiful neutral. Um, I, I'm not that kind of person of a dramatic. Only if it's a special occasion or something. Uh, sometimes I'll do like a peachy um, tone and I like peachy tones too but I'm kind of like a neutral girl if you guys know what I'm talking about but other than that um, let me know if you guys know any palette that you guys have and it's a neutral color I've been checking out on I can't decide which one um, I don't want to spend too much money on the palette neither because uh, I don't know I just I like to save money I prefer um, spending more money on my children on my kids than myself that's the way I am some people spend a lot of money on themselves and also on their kids which is fine but I'm more like eh, let me spend kids and me a ten dollar or twenty dollar palette is fine with me <laughs> but anyways let me know if you guys know any palette out there a neutral color that I should try um, hook me up and let me know so I could do a tutorial too I could do a, a lovely tutorial on that too so yeah I would love to hear you guys um, opinions on that it could be ColourPop um, I haven't had I don't have ColourPop um, just one little eyeshadow the shock um, the shock eyeshadow one really nice one it's a copper it's called Lala really beautiful one but I have a lot of that color I noticed I always get the bronzy colors so I don't know why I need to start thinking about other palettes I have the Tarte the blossom one and that one's a beautiful one too but I want something different I guess and I haven't bought a palette in over a year. Some girls buy palettes, I don't know how many times a year, but uh, maybe a year or two. I think it's been two years, if I'm not mistaken. But I threw away.
away a lot that I had. I uh, had a, a lot of declutter and um, a palette. So I threw away a lot of that yesterday. I cleaned my closet and a lot of makeup that I had. And some of them, they were good, but I wasn't using it. So I gave it to Angelina. She loves palettes. So she loves putting on makeup. And she's a little mini Dora. That's what I tell her. <laughs> she loves that. And uh, speaking about Angelina, um, when I go back home, I'm gonna buy her a Starbucks because she's been wanting a Starbucks. And I buy her this strawberry like milkshake. She calls it strawberry milkshake. And it's just a frappuccino in strawberry with cream and it's really good. And I'll show you guys. And I'm actually gonna get something from the Instagram person that I love to follow. Um, if you guys didn't see my vlog about him, please check it out. It's awesome. Uh, he has a great Instagram and it talks about healthier versions of um, Starbucks. And he's, uh, he's, I think his name, Instagram name is the Macro Bartist. And he works actually in Starbucks and he knows all these little secrets and you know healthier versions to make your drink and it has protein I'm gonna try one with protein because I need more protein <laughs> uh, oh and I have an idea I'm trying to lose weight and the reason is um, I don't I don't know why I, I don't tell you guys I should just blurt it out right now we're planning to go in June to Hawaii with my kids and myself my husband's not gonna be able to go unfortunately because um, he does not have his documents like millions of people in, here in this world in this actually not world but United States and um, so he's not gonna be able to go he doesn't want to risk it and I don't blame him so we're planning to go to Hawaii my kids and myself in June um, two weeks after they get out of school and um, I'm trying to lose weight so I'm doing the herbal life like I've been doing but I didn't I ran out of a lot of stuff and I haven't stocked up so I'm gonna be doing that pretty soon stocking up a lot of things and I've been doing exercise I've been doing the 30 day um, squats for like 100 squats for 30 days and I think I'm gonna keep it up and probably do that forever and because I have seen my legs are more stronger and I don't know how long has it been it's been more than a week I've been doing this but I'll check it out and I'll let you guys know and I did actually 40 this morning and I needed to do another um, another set of 20 because I do 20 every time um, I go to the restroom or um, just when I'm just standing around, I just get up and do it. Or if I see myself sitting too much, then um, I do the same thing. I just get up and do it. But yeah, um, that's what we're doing. I'm trying to lose weight because I want to look good um, for Hawaii. You know, um, like everybody wants to lose weight for something. I want to lose it forever and also for Hawaii. And... Um, yeah, that I'm, I'm here. I'm actually here at my appointment. I should park that side, but it's okay. This side is great because I need to go to the pharmacy. But yeah, that's what I am doing right now. I don't want you guys in the sun or my face in the sun. So um, yeah, we're going to go and um, I'm going to go to Mexico before like the end of March. I'm going with my um, aunt and my cousin and my two sisters well actually one sister and then I'm gonna meet I'm gonna actually meet my other sister she's my stepsister but I call her sister um, so from my dad's side my dad had a family before he hooked up with my mom so long story short I'm gonna go meet her and Tijuana and I'll take you guys along of course I will by that time I think I'm gonna have my camera I've been looking into um, uh best buy and also youtubers actually i've been i checked out um it's judy's life and she recommended um a couple of uh, good ones canon and sunny sony i mean not sunny 
and um, that I am gonna I'm gonna look it up and then um, buy one of those and see which one works for me and yeah I'm, I'm actually early um, the office does they close between 12 30 and 1 30 the clinic office so it's 1 18 I do not want to stand outside of the office and waiting and um, but uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying the vlogs and um, this la yesterday's vlog was a very long one and I particular um, had a I'm, I'm, I'm adjusting how to vlog longer because I do it with my iPhone so I downloaded this app that saves all your videos and um, photos so that I could save a lot and um, edit it from it and also um, download it to YouTube so that's why I have it so long and I uh, I love it I, I really like it because iPhone had so many memories to um, for you to upload I only uploaded from iMovie 15 um, minutes so it wasn't that long that's why uh, some of my vlogs are shorter but yeah I don't want to keep rambling um, if you guys have any questions any comments let me know down below in the comments I'll be gladly to answer you all and I'll see you guys after my doctor's appointment all right you guys bye hey friends I am back from my doctor's appointment now I'm heading home I went to pick up my medication everything went well it was fast it ran smoothly I even set up an appointment for Juan on Monday because he um, I think he has an ingrown now but they're gonna see him on Monday so that means I'm not gonna be able to uh, go in go into class so um, I get out early on Mondays I'm gonna actually run to the school campus I know it sounds so crazy but I'm gonna let Miss Jessica know that my son has a tooth 30 appointment and um, I'm gonna tell the kids to head um, to head over there at the doctor's and I'll be there in just a second um, I'm gonna do that I'm gonna be running up and down but I, I don't mind I need to turn in my homework which I will I'm gonna let her know what's the issue and um, and yeah that's what I'm gonna do Monday's gonna be a really busy day I'll have to go in early. My um, my boss told me to go in at 7:30 because they fixed the cabinets in our kitchen, and uh, we need to put everything back. So we need to come in at 7:30. Either ways, we go in at 8:45, so it gives us. A, they're gonna pay us extra, of course. And um, yeah, that's about it. That's all I'm gonna be doing. That's on Monday, and today's Friday. I'm so ready to go back to work um, I love the week off but it's time to go back to work and do our thing um, unfortunately there's gonna be new um, new rules to our school district because of that tragedy that happened in Florida um, very sad um, I mean no words I can't express anything because um, it's just very 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 sad um, what had happened over there and unfortunately this been this issue has been for many years um, there's got to be something done um, with that situation um, everybody has their own opinion their own ideas but the bottom line they need to fix the issue our children needs to be safe teachers the whole staff needs to be safe and for Donald Trump to say teachers need to be armed and certain teachers need to be armed and and the principals I I don't like that idea it's just too risky too risky for the school 
killed or killing somebody yeah you'll be called a hero but deep down inside you're like oh my god you get traumatized this is like traumatized stuff so I don't know if they're ever gonna have that idea but I hope they don't because I'm gonna be a teacher I don't want to be have that pressure to do that you know to kill somebody I know that person is a bad person but why are we gonna have more guns out there to kill more people don't we supposed to stop doing that I mean yeah I mean why kill one and then kill another one no no it's gonna make worse it's gonna be the situation so worse and and then I heard I my history teacher has said he has heard that you know not having backpacks the kids the students don't come in backpacks I'm like no I mean first of all it wasn't a student this tragedy wasn't a student in the class it was outside the school campus either ways if they have a backpack or not they're gonna find a way to bring a weapon I mean they will I believe me I work at a high school kids are kids they have a way we used to be young and we used to think maybe more because as think about it as a kid you don't have nothing else but maybe play on your phone and do homework and that's it you have a lot of free time a lot of, of your mind is running free out there and us adults we don't we have to worry about bills go to work worry about our boss or, or worry about our kids you know it's a lot in our plate that you don't have time to think about oh I'm gonna kill somebody <laughs> that I'll, I'll put that in my schedule no we don't have that time so the kids have more time so I don't know I just I just hope I pray to God that this tragedy will be the last one I'm just hoping praying to God that please please let's, let's reasonable let's all live together I know that some people don't like this person because of this situation but can we just get along can we just I mean we share the roads together we share this the bathrooms of a public bathroom out there together why can't we share our thoughts why can't we share our love to each other you know we got to be together like we are united like a family you know one big happy family you help your family I'll help yours you know it makes me want to cry because I was young and I protest but not for gun controls I was protesting I don't know if you guys ever remember this back in the 90s they didn't want Hispanic kids illegal kids actually study go to school and I don't remember what number was that but it was some number that we I was protesting I'm a US citizen but I was protesting because I have friends and family who are undocumented and going to school and I protest because I knew this is wrong now they're protesting not to have um, to have gun control I just wow it's just a big step you know no more guns and it's sad it, it makes me think it makes me wonder I mean we have a in our campus we have an officer there and he's aware and he's very on point but one officer we know what is not enough it's not I know the city I know the county won't put more money and be safe in our schools but they would put more money to the courthouse to um, the airport um, to our or uh, uh, I don't know some other place like the concerts there's a lot of security in there how come the school's not I think they think that the kids are safe to go to school I think we all think that they are I always thought we were safe but 
that now with all this issue happening, we're not safe anywhere. Not even in the theater, not even in the freaking store. We're not safe. You know, they need to put more officers out there. I know it's going to cost us money. Let's pay that money. Let's, I mean, I'll pay taxes on that. I don't mind as long as I know we have officers out there patrolling and we could be a little bit more safer. Because now, this Monday, going back to school, I'm scared, you know. And I believe all these students who are going to go back are scared. We had actually, I didn't say this before, but two days after the tragedy of Florida, this kid, a 19 year old, or I think he's 18, he was a troublemaker at the high school, my, my work high school. And he actually put it on his, his web, I don't know where, Facebook or something, that he was going to be one of the shooters and shoot the high school. And unfortunately, um, he didn't. I mean, um, not unfortunately, but I meant, unfortunately, like, he didn't do it. He didn't do it because the cops got him. I don't know how they they got him, but somebody must have give, um, somebody must have called the, the 911 and notified them that he did this, that he posted something on his Facebook, I think it was Facebook, that he was going to shoot the high school. And um, my thing is that, how come they didn't notify us staff? They notified the parents way after. That day, actually that day I had an appointment and um, I had a dentist appointment. I took all my kids out and we went to our dentist appointment. And um, so that day, it was a Friday actually. And that day, yeah, it was a Friday. That day, um, they called me, it was after school. I want to say they called the parents and there was this was this was happening during class during lunch actually but the good thing they got him you know and he's behind bars but just to think about that happened that could he if he was he didn't have to say anything he would have just showed up and started shooting I mean oh my god just thinking about it makes me want to cry because I was outside serving the kids being a goof off like I always do with the kids hey what's up I tell them you know I'm trying to make their day a little brighter wow all I want to say is just be safe people everybody be safe and um, just watch your back you know, everywhere you go. Now we have to watch our back. Watch our kids. See what they are at. Tell them, tell your kids you love them. Even though they're rebelled. They're like, oh no, mom. <laughs> I always tell them now. Every day, every night. I love you guys. I tell them. Love you guys. Love you. You know, I know we're, we're in a rush. We're always busy, but just tell your kids you love them, no matter what. Give them a hug. Give them a kiss. You know, just don't know what could happen. Hello, friends. Um, I already got Angeline. I came from Starbucks, and I'm actually um, getting water from these um, water dispensers um, in, nearby my house. And I got Angelina's um, strawberry and cream with lots of whipped cream because she loves that part. And I did, okay, so first of all, I was going to get the cherry mocha that, um, I forgot his name, but um, the Instagram guy, um, but they didn't have the strawberry stuff, so I had to change it up. So I got this one, which uh, I should have asked for blend. 
because I it has protein, which is good. I wanted it um, hot, but he said that they couldn't, but they were not put a lot of ice, but they did. So um, I'm gonna blend it up in my house. And basically this is what I ordered. Let me see if it focuses, and it does. And this is what I ordered. And it's really good, but it's very strong. So it has three pumps of vanilla, one pump of hazelnut, and stevia, milk, broth, uh, US, whatever. I don't know what the hell is that. Light cream. And it doesn't have any cream, to tell you the truth. And two protein powder. <laughs> yeah, in a venti cup. And he did not, well, he said, you don't want to blend. And I said, well, no, because it's going to be hot, right? And he said, yeah. So, um, it's not hot, as you can tell. And I didn't want to tell him nothing because they were too busy. And I'm like, you know what? I waited so long. I'm, I'm not going to deal with this no more. So, I'm just going to blend it up at home. But it is strong. It's a Americano. No, it's a cold brew. I mean... So uh, it's kind of, I should have got a hot one. I know, I'm so dumb, but still, it's still good. Okay, so my water is done. I'm gonna get it, and then I'm gonna head home and give this frappuccino to Angelina. I'm actually here on my laptop trying to finish my papers well actually I just did you see lucky over there lucky bonito lucky he wants to go outside because my son is washing the car and I'm um, just I am trying to find I need one more paragraph I did already six now we need one more paragraph and it's about um, comparison and contracts and I wrote this one when I was in college in Redwood City. And I remember that I did this one. And it was my comparison from labor and delivery in Mexico and, and here in the United States. And I can't find the paper. But I found my USB, which I saved. And now I'm trying to find it here in my laptop so I could get some ideas and put it in one little paragraph. And it has to be... 150 to 200 words and that's what I'm trying to do and um, and I found some things that I'm so excited that I used when I was in English class English class in Redwood City and I found this it's an English grammar and it tells you like a lot of things how to use your English and how to write so and I got some papers here as well that I got and I totally forgot that I have this so I am so excited because this helped me so much to do my writing and um, how to do it properly and what the te the professors um, are needing to show on your paper so I'm just waiting for my computer my computer is so damn slow really slow so um, I'm just waiting for everything to upload and then I'm gonna try to find it and then write my paragraph and I'm doing it on Google Docs and it's so convenient because anywhere I could go I downloaded the app anywhere I could um, go I could finish up my homework which I did this morning when I was at the dentist appointment with Juanito I finished one and I was continuing the second one so yeah that was great but anyways I just want to let you guys know what's going on today and hopefully I see you guys later Bye-bye.